Good day learners, we are now in week 2 of Mathematics 6 with the title, Writing Rules for Sequence. Look for the pattern in the sequence of encircled numbers. The encircled numbers 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28 form a number sequence. A number sequence is a list of numbers in which successive terms follow a rule or a pattern. Each number in a sequence is called a term. If we take any two successive terms of the circle numbers on the calendar, the difference between them is 4. Also, if we add 4 to the previous term, we will get the next number in the sequence. Therefore, the rule in the sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 is adding 4 to the term before it. The sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, and so on. The rule, every term after the first is obtained by adding 3 to the number presiding it. 0 plus 3, 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9 plus 3, and so on, or multiples of 3, 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, and so on. The end term rule, 3n. The next 3 terms, 15, 18, 21. The sequence 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on, multiply the counting numbers by itself or squaring counting numbers. The end term rule, 2 squared. The next 3 terms, 25, 36, 49. The sequence 3, 1, negative 1, negative 3, and so on, every term after the first is obtained by adding negative 2 to the number presiding it. The end term rule, and the next three terms, negative 5, negative 7, negative 9. In the sequence 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, first term, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Second term, 2 plus 1 equals 3. Third term, 3 plus 1 equals 4. Fourth term, 4 plus 1 equals 5. The end term rule, n plus 1. The next three terms, 6, 7, 8. The se sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. First term, 2 times 1 equals 2. Second term, 2 times 2 equals 4. Third term, 2 times 3 equals 6. Fourth term, 2 times 4 equals 8. The end term rule, 2 times n, or 2n. The next three terms are 10, 12, 14. Example 2. The sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on. 
Working backwards, you will notice a pattern that subtracts 3 to get the next term on the left. Now, think of a way on how you will get each term having a common difference of 3. Using guess and check strategy, let n represent a counting number. 3 times n plus 1, that is 3 times 1 plus 1 equals 4. This rule is wrong because the first term in the pattern 2, 5, 8, 11 is 2, not 4. 3 times 2 minus 2, 3 times 1 minus 2 equals 1. This is also wrong. The first term should be 2, not 1. 3 times n minus 1, 3 times 1 minus 1 equals 2. The rule is exact for the first term. Let's also check the rule for the other three terms. 3 times 2 minus 1 equals 5. 3 times 3 minus 1 equals 8. 3 times 4 minus 1 equals 11. The rule is also exact for the other three terms. So the end for the sequence 2, 5, 8, 11, and so on is 3 times n minus 1 or 3n minus 1. In this example, the rule 3n minus 1 is what we call expression, while 3n minus 1 equals 4 is what we call equation. Let's take a look at this table. Expression and equation. In the table, the given in the first column are examples of expression while second column are examples of equation. An expression is a number, a variable, or a combination of numbers and variables and operation symbols. While an equation is a mathematical statement where values of two mathematical expressions are connected by equal sign. Learning task 1. Study the following sequence of figures. Then draw the next figure and write the related number sequence for its illustration. Learning task 2. Write whether each number is an expression or equation. Write the answers on a sheet of paper. For learning task 3, find the next 3 end term of the sequence. For your learning task 4, find the pattern and write its expression. Given the sequence, formulate a rule for the given sequence.
Write your own example of expression and equation. Give the five examples of an expression and give five examples of an equation. Write your personal insights about the lesson using the prompts below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. I need to learn more about blank. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Dahil ngayon sa muli, samahan niyo ako sa mga susunod pa mga videos. Huwag kakalimot na mag-subscribe. Pwede kayong mag-comments. Mag-like at i-share ang ating mga videos. Hanggang sa muli, paalam!